Chapter 1 Nouns and its kinds Learning time Nouns are the names of people, place, animals and things. Examples Rohan, Chennai, Tiger, Bug, etc. There are usually four kinds of nouns. 1. Common noun 2. Proper noun 3. Abstract noun and 4. Collective noun A. Common and proper nouns Nouns that give common names to persons, place, animal or things are called common nouns. Examples Boy, City, Country, Day, etc. Nouns that give special names to persons, places or things are called proper nouns. Examples Alex, Delhi, India, Sunday, etc. Let's learn. Proper nouns always begins with a capital letter. Practice time. Question 1. Read the sentences given below. Circle the nouns in each sentence. A. Virat plays cricket with Rohit. Answer. Circle Virat. Cricket. Rohit. B. Jane is my sister. Answer. Circle Jane and sister. C. Ruskin Bond is a famous writer. Answer. Circle Ruskin Bond. Writer. Teachers note some old grammarians described nouns like water, iron, wood, stone, gold, silver, diamond, cotton and plastics as material nouns but now it is more usual to classify them as common nouns. However, you may follow any of these classifications. D. Isaac Newton was a great scientist. Answer. Circle Isaac Newton. Scientist. E. The Ramayan is a great Hindu epic. Answer. Circle Ramayan. 2. Circle the common nouns and underline the proper noun in the sentences given below. A. Rahul Dravid is a famous cricketer. Answer. Underline Rahul Dravid. Circle cricketer. B. William Shakespeare is a renowned author. Answer. Underline William Shakespeare. Circle author. C. December is the last month of the year. Answer. Underline December and circle month and year. D. Sunflower is a beautiful flower. Answer. Underline sunflower, circle flower. E. Delhi is a big city. Answer. Underline Delhi, circle city. 3. Write a suitable common noun for each of the following set. A. Kanpur, Kolkata, Chennai. Hyderabad Answer City B Sunflowers Lotus Lily Tulip Answer Flowers C Crow Peacock Pigeon Parrot Answer Birds D Cricket Hockey Football Chess Answer Games Learning Time B Abstract and Collective Noun Read the following sentences 1 Childhood is the best part of life. 2. Health is wealth. 3. Happiness comes from loving people. Let me answer. A. Name any famous chess player. B. Which is our national flower. In the above sentence, the word childhood, health and happiness are also nouns. But these words do not refer to any person, place, animal or thing. They denote idea, state, quality or feeling that we cannot see or touch. We can only feel or think at these nouns. These are known as abstract noun. Let's know about the abstract noun more vividly. We know what childhood is. But can we touch childhood and say, look, this is childhood. No, we cannot. We cannot touch childhood because it is not a thing. Rather, it is a state of human life. In the same way, we know what health is. But we cannot touch or see health. What we see is the physical growth of a person or a body but not health. In the last sentence, the word happiness is used. All of us know what happiness is but we cannot see or touch it. If there is happiness, we can feel it, not touch it or see it. Now read the following sentences. 1. Our army won the war. 2. She gave me a bouquet of flowers. 3. A flock of birds are flying in the sky. In the above sentences, the highlighted words Army, bouquet and flock are nouns. 
In sentence one, the word army stands for a collection of soldiers. In sentence two, the word bouquet stands for a collection of flowers. In sentence three, the word flock stands for a collection of birds. Since the highlighted noun refer to a collection of something, those are known as collected nouns. Let's learn. An abstract noun is the name of a quality, action, or state. Abstract noun refers to ideas that we cannot see or touch. Nouns that name of group, people, things, or animals are called collected nouns. Practice time four. Fill in the blanks with abstract nouns formed from the words given in the bracket. A. Courage is the virtue of the brave. B. Soldiers are known for their bravery. C. Can you believe the woman's brilliance? D. I need my father's permission to go with you. E. I waited an hour for the arrival of the train. F. Bhagat Singh showed great patriotism and fought for his country. Five. Take the correct abstract nouns given in the brackets. A. Cruelty to animals is a punishable offense. B. The greatest happiness lies in freedom. C. He is on. A pilgrimage to Mecca. D. As the sun went below the horizon, darkness enveloped the planet. E. As a parent, my children's safety is of utmost importance of me. Six. Circle the collective noun in the following sentences. A. I bought a loaf of bread at the market. Answer. Circle loaf. B. A hive of bees attacked the boy. Answer. Hive. C. A herd of cows walked across the barn. Answer: Herd. D. The army of soldiers walked across the land. Answer: Army. E. The group of dancers performed on the stage. Answer: Group. F. The shepherd grazed a flock of sheep. Answer: Flock. Seven. Choose the correct collective nouns to complete each sentence. A. A. Bunch of keys. B. A herd of elephants. C. A pack of dogs. D. A swarm of bees. E. A team of players. Learning time. C. Countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Look at the table given below. A. Books, pens, chairs, balls. B. Water, sugar, rice, oil. Let me answer. A. What is the collective noun of pupil? B. Is childhood an abstract noun? In the above table, you can count the things in column A, and you can't count the things in column B. The things you can count are called countable nouns, and the things which you cannot count are called uncountable nouns. We can see one book, but we cannot say one water. So, book is countable noun, whereas water is uncountable noun. But we can count glasses of water, loaf of bread, etc. Practice time. Night. Underline the countable nouns and circle the uncountable nouns. A. She likes to eat buns with coffee. Answer. Underline buns and circle coffee. B. I have some books in my bag. Answer. Underline books. Circle bag. C. He fling the coin into water. Answer. Underline coin. Circle water. D. My father bought rice, fruits, and oil from the store. Answer. Underline fruits. Circle rice and oil. E. How much water is left in the bottle? Answer. Underline bottle and circle water. A. Write C for countable nouns and U for uncountable nouns. A. Sugar. Answer U. B. Apple. Answer C. C. Rice. Answer U. D. Pen. Answer C. E. Milk. Answer U. F. X. Answer C. G. Friend. Answer C. H. Salt. Answer U. I. Ghee. Answer U. J. Juice. Answer U. K. Table. Answer C. L. Sand. Answer U. Fun with grammar. Make flashcards of countable and uncountable nouns. You can use the following words the first time you play. Countable. Chairs. Desk. Bottles of water. Cups. Dogs. Uncountable noun. Water. Rain. Ketchup. Music. Sugar. Divide the student into teams of four, five. 
Invite one student from each team to join you in front of the class. Show the first flash card. The student who identify whether a noun is countable or uncountable quickly will sit down while the other student remains standing. The remaining student then has to use the noun in a sentence with an appropriate quantifier. If the student is correct, he or she will sit down and reward his or her team one point. Invite a second representative from each team to the front of the class and repeat the process. Keep going until each student has had a chance at front of the room. At the end of the game, discuss any grammar errors and pronunciation issues.